Well, here we are, folks. This is the other half of our finals here. Also going to be Team USA versus Team Germany here. This is going to be our diddle. Same format. <laughs> Whoa, now that is a close-up. And it does look like Team USA got it. We can actually count the holes because of this angle, so worked out well for us. <laughs> So Team USA is going to get the start here in this uh, International Challenge Finals. This is the ladies' side of it. Of course, we just saw Team Germany bested Team USA. Now let's see if they can do it again or if Team USA will make a stand here. Well, what do you think? Yeah, we had that ultra zoom there for a second. Apologies on that one, but <laughs> hey, it worked out for us, I guess. Um, Looking forward to this matchup, though, as Team USA will take on Team Germany in our International Challenge Finals for the ladies. Mary yeah, Beth Collins stepping up to set up the board here. Folks, this is going to be a fantastic showing. So this is going to be that 501 double-double fat pool that we were seeing from earlier. Here we go. Chris Grimmel will start us off here in this one. Last time these uh, two teams played, it was a dominant display from Team USA. But uh, the same could have been said for uh, the men. And uh, Team Germany came in on top in that mm -hmm. one. So best of five here. First of three legs as we go 5-0-1, 5-0-1, cricket, cricket. 5-1 as our last leg decider. That well, should uh, be a fiery on the watch. You see here, Abby Spots, not Abby Scott. I don't know why we were getting that wrong <laughs> earlier. It didn't make any sense to me. But Abby Spot is up at the line here. I told her Abby Stripes, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> Does find on the last one, though. Again, as we've said time and time again, and we will say until we run out of breath, on double in, it's all about the end part. Doesn't matter which double, doesn't matter how many points scored. If you're not in, you can't win. Very true there. If you're not in, you can't win, sir. Yeah, Misha. Or, excuse me, that wasn't Misha Ella throw in there. But, yeah, there, there was a hard time there for them to get in. See, Ramirez started up at those 20s and then switched over to the bull halfway through. I do like the change of pace. Very interesting form here from this lady. Does hit a low time, but brings the dart all the way back to the face and then does a twist and pull on it before following through. Gives that dart a lot more zip, but a little bit harder to aim. Ronnie says, watching the stream on my way back to finish it live. Thanks for putting me on there waving earlier. Made my daughter's day back in Illinois. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yep. Why not? If we see something, we got that zooming capabilities. We might as well blow it up. This is uh, pretty much a translator for Team Germany, huh? She's pretty, mm -hmm. pretty fluent in English, well, fully fluent in English. Oh, yeah, Misha Ella actually had a chance to do an interview with me. We talked about the DSAB, the German Darts organization that represents all these players here, and had a great time. Definitely so. Looking forward to hearing that interview. She, uh, she had the pleasure of uh, doing with her. Two big bulls there. Is it the 115 look for Chrissy? Look at this. Yeah, you can see she's she doesn't care about the 150. She's she's gonna go with what she feels confident in, and man, she can pepper a trip 20 almost every round. Abby Spot here just needs to keep chipping away at this 393, bringing it down into range as uh, the A scores are pretty much tied up there. If Abby does a good job scoring here, which it looks like she is informed to do so, can put a lot of pressure on the German team. You can see the audience is getting louder and louder as uh, there's a lot more USA fans watching to try to get that going. 
This is going to put some pressure on the German team here. You can see the dart slipped out of her hand and unfortunately did not count. And now USA is going to be in good position to not only get to an out first, but to potentially freeze. Trish Romero stepping up here. Finds the ball in the first. Is going to find out another. Guaranteed to leave an out from here. One five six will be the leave here, and a good throw there from Romero. Uh, Katrina, I believe, is what the uh, pronunciation is. Maybe slightly off. Look at that throw. You see how unique that is? She pulls back the flight and then turns. Very unique throw. Yeah, it is. It is. But it works for her. She puts in a nice 111 to get her down to 160. Hunter Smith, the better half of the Smiths for Jake Smith that was on the Men's USA team as she hits a huge hat trick there to leave herself at 1-4-1. Michelle, they're throwing that dart before it's ready, but they're going to go ahead and count that one in there. They're giving a little clap of respect from the uh, team there saying, hey, listen, thank you for doing that. So a show of respect amongst these players. And let me tell you, I went out there to grab some pictures of these teams before they get going here. And these girls were all having fun. They were all talking with each other, dancing around, not just Team USA and Team Germany, but Team USA and Germany together. So there's a sense of unity between both teams going on. See, just, just fine. Just setting this up here. But look at this. Look at this. All she can do is set up, though, unfortunately. That's still a fantastic shot. It is. It look is. Look at that. One, five, six from Stephanie. Abby, we'll get a look at this one for one. It's going to start that bowl first. Is it going to stay there? <laughs> Stephanie, be sure to tell her to brush that one off. What I'm thinking. Yeah, at this point, Team USA is looking pretty strong here in this first leg. But, of course, they did have the throw, and they're just holding. So now, uh, after a couple of more goes here, it's going to be up to Germany to kind of pick back up the pace here. You can see Mero just setting up the 32. Going to go ahead and pass back over. So now it's 56. Carrie asking, does the bull count as a double out? Oh, Ooh, that one slipped away from her there. Wow. But the bull does not. So you can actually see on the Phoenix board here that we're looking at the double in bull zero, double out bull zero. That means that you can't go on the bull to get in or out in this double double format. That's why you saw. You're not seeing the 650 there from Hunter. But Chris needing the 32 look here. It's a good marker dart. And does get it on the third dart there. Chris Grimmel 
gets that first leg for USA as Germany will get the start in the second one. 501 double double. Let's take a look at that one more time. And a good shot there from Chris. As Germany is the start off here. And will do so in style as they get it on the first. What a, what a player, man. Just what a player. <laughs> you can hear the room erupt with that one as that was a great 120 in. Chris also able to get in on her first start. Let's see, this is definitely some intensity right now from the teams. Yes, Tamara trying to get in, and she does with the second. Yeah. Germans giving a little approval as they're happy to get in on both rounds here and have a shot to win this leg. And it looks like Abagnale will get in as well. Everybody in first round here. Let's see if the Germans can keep up this pressure here. Look at this. Great shot. Big hat trick there from Kratina. Yeah, 120 in to follow with 150 there. Putting that player one scoreline at a great point here. Trish Romero is going to need to follow up with something big of her own. Trish giving herself a come on as she throws there. Michelle now needs to follow up her partner's lead. Two would be handy. Only able to find find one. Does help keep getting that score lower and lower as uh, the player one score line is going to be the one shooting at the out regardless here. It's about making sure that they're not frozen when they get back to the score line. And that was a good recovery after Hunter had a little bit of a, a lax start there, just pounding in those bulls after that, making it look easy. See, Stephanie kind of threw off her rhythm there as uh, she threw that first start before the board was ready. And it looks like she's elected not to count it because she threw it before it was actually fully changed over. And in the previous one, Chris Grimmel actually went ahead and said, no, it's fine, tapped it in. I think that was the case here as well, but the German team decided, hey, listen, it's okay. We're going to keep going. Does find two big bulls, and you can see. I mean, this could be a new uh, Germany team here. Not the ideal round there. Yeah, we're seeing some. Some uh, unfortunate darts being thrown here from Team USA, similar to the that men's side. It's a lot of pressure on their backs. Yeah, definitely. I mean, these are all experienced players. They've been in this position before, but pressure is always going to be there. To frame it like this is to say, listen, you, the USA just had a heartbreaking loss, and there's nothing short of calling it heartbreaking by the way it happens after having such a good run. 
on the men's side. So the ladies are almost like taking on that mantle now and holding the torch to try to find the way to holding a trophy here for the States as Germany, on the other hand, has that confidence of that first win under the belt. Oh, look at this. Could it be another hat trick? No, but it's a 115. Yeah, Misha Ella finding it with success there and putting out even more and more of an advantage in their favor. Hunter, though, finding her stride. Get, giving a little pump there with that hat trick after a low ton on her previous go rounds. And there we see Team USA's fans starting to roar. See, uh, Stephanie there was like, wait a second, that's not how I want to set myself up there because you can't bowl out. And so she's just going to have to elect to take her time there, leaving 32. Chris gives her a little high five as she walks by. Well, Chris needs to bring the score down basically as low as it can go. They are staying true right now, and the slug isn't over yet. But at this point, it's fair to say this is Germany's to lose for this leg. See if Spot can do anything here, but no matter what, that 32 is going to be given a look here. That was a great last start there from Abagnale. Yeah, Ricky Bobby said it right. That was enough to freeze. It's so crazy how quickly the momentum can shift in something like this. Yeah, that was a big hit for the U.S. team, and it was needed. Look at Trisha. Misha Ella needs a great one here. They're getting caught up in the wrong neighborhood. It will not do enough to unfreeze, assuming the 87 does not bust here. Hunter doesn't need to take it out, just needs to make sure she doesn't bust. You gonna trip 10 here, or actually the proper play I would be probably trip 18. Yeah, I was gonna say you 54 wanna leaves double eight. Yep, and there she goes. Have to be careful here. If you bust this, you're in first in trouble. Well thrown, Dart, well yes. thrown. Yes. And I always lean towards that 30-40 route because that's my preferred route on steel tip. But with that freeze engage, you want to whittle it down as much as you can. That's just an experience on my part. As you can see, Stephanie there just tries to bring it down a little bit more. But now a USA somehow turned this around. Yes. And this is an impressive show of grit. Double five now. Good marker there for Chris. Oh, but catches the bottom wire there. 91 can go. And take her time here.
did go for a trip 18 to try to leave double 10, but now at 70, all you can do is set up. So, spot for double four. Takes Taking her time with the setup. Yeah, it takes that signature ghost. Takes a couple of them. And she gets it. Well, that's a great steal for USA. As I was certain it was going the other way, but then look at this well thrown dart. He has Abby spot shows. Hey, listen, we still got this. We're still kicking along as it is now two to zero in USA's favor. Will, do you think cricket's going to change up much for these girls right now as far as momentum, or what do you think? We'll see. That is almost a, a tough break there for Team Germany. You see Stephanie trying to talk them up here a little bit, which is good because it would be easy for them to get down in a rut there after that one, huh? Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you. But we'll see. Germany now has to break the throw and then win the subsequent leg as well. So Chris Grimmel starting us off here. And yeah, this will be the last part of our international challenge as we did see Germany best USA in on the international challenge. On the men's side. I want to make sure to say that. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. on the men's side. So uh, we've already concluded that one. We will be wrapping up our evening session with this one, or our morning session with this one, sorry, before our evening session at 8 p.m. And unfortunately, outside there for spot as she hoped to close, but the door is open for the Germans to point and possibly close those 20s. And that's a good start to this. Oh, my. Still a fantastic shot as it's 114 to 20 now. As Trish is going to need six here. Take the look. She might take the look regardless. That's exactly what she does, and it's down below the 19. It's easy for us to forget, but yes, aiming for triples, aiming for the big shots are always important, right? But if you don't take your time on those singles to hit them, those are the things that can cost you games and even matches at times. And look at that, the German domination on the 19s continues, going up to the 20s now, and finding a beautiful five mark to follow the six. You see Hunter there taking a deep breath, giving a little look away to the team. Yeah, she's gonna pretty much stay and get as much 20s as she can. And you can't That's blame her for doing so. It's 120 on the board now for Team USA, and Team Germany is probably going to close that out now. Yeah, with the 51 point difference, it's going to go away without a doubt in our minds. Still not taking the look. Going to take it now. The team pointed for it, and she delivered. A great shot there, and great strategy from the team. It's right now, 127 point difference. Chris Grimmel just has some ferocity about her, so serious in nature. Yeah. Not able to find it. Not at all. This is looking promising for the German yeah. team. I mean, they're lighting up the board every single time. Yeah. This is some amazing stuff. Abby spot full focus on the 17s.
What do you feel about that close on the last start there, Will? Hey, why not? I mean, things aren't going your way, and maybe they're just thinking, hey, this, this looks like their leg, but here, look at this. Two misses, three misses, okay. Now you can possibly do something. A six mark won't get the point lead, but can make a big impact here as Trish Romero is going to be looking to regain the points for USA. Romero's running out of room there. Yeah, Ooh. it's just two singles and tries to lay one in and outside. Yeah, well thrown darts and just not a lot of area to work with. Taking a look at the scoreboard here. Now 51-51, and you take a look. And not going to be. And even if she did, I mean, yeah, you definitely take the look at that situation, but the X on the 17, it makes it all the more impactful if you miss. But in this case, it's a mood point, as Misha Ella is going to be looking to get rid of those 17s immediately, although she does like the point on her first start typically. Can't close. Can't close. Right. Grimmel stepping in. She yeah, eyes an opportunity it. here. USA's having some troubles here. Yeah, yeah she is. She is. I mean, it's safe to say Trisha Romero's definitely having troubles. Uh, difficult when two out of the four are not, not perfectly playing to their abilities. Right. Well, we'll see. Again, it's that match point pressure that we talk about time and time again. When you get close to that finish line, it's hard to push through sometimes because the nervousness, the excitement. And again, they're carrying the weight of the shoulders of USA as Germany already won in the men's. There's a big triple. They've been waiting for that one for a while. I'm surprised Germany didn't get rid of that number a while ago, honestly. Yeah, but Abby Dabby does find it there. This is an opener. Now she goes ahead and closes it. I was about to say, are you going to close it eventually or what here? Well, now the situation's a lot closer. 13 point difference here. Romero trying to just get a playground open. Well, see right now, Germany's finding some momentum, but it's kind of having a stagnation here after a very strong start from both teams. Big trip 18 to pad some more points. Hunter's going to need to stay on the 16s or 15s all day. Finds oh, another big seven, and she gives it a whoo as she walks <laughs> away. You can hear it in the crowd as we get a nice wave in the background, <laughs> too. Yeah, but that was a well-timed shot. Grimmel knows when to turn up. Or excuse me, Hunter. Hunter took a, a shot at that 16. Let's Let's see if, if she kicks it in gear here or not. I'm struggle some darts. I've got to end for Grimmel. She wants to follow Hunter's lead from that last great throw there. Massive. 
massive. She's going to take it. Oh, she's going to. Oh, my goodness. Huge hit. A nine mark from Chris Grimwell. I knew it was a matter of time before wow. she kicked it back in gear, and there we saw it. Wow, wow, wow. Team, well, people, people, Team USA looking promising now. They're coming back in, but the German team is not done yet. Stephanie looking at those 15s here. And then did try to do the switch up there from behind to make it a 5-3 to three bull race. Abby Spot, if she's able to secure these 15s, is almost writing the fortune for the ladies USA team here. What a massive nine mark for Chrissy Grimmel. And of course we have to mention it was possible because Hunter Smith did what she did. And the girls are turning it on at the right time. Abby Spot there brings it to two bulls away for USA to whitewash Germany here. Trish Romero could end it all. Just taking her time to set up here. Finds the first one. One more. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, as Trish Romero and Team USA win 3-0 to zero against Team Germany there in a phenomenal and dominant performance in this finals. Yes, it was. And we're going to see Team Germany come on over here and get some hugs, some high fives and all that as... Uh, you, you could tell before this match there was a lot of love, a lot of uh, camaraderie between these two teams, and that was a good one indeed, huh?